So let's rock and roll. Let's get things underway. So welcome to the 30-day challenge. This is a, an opportunity for the next 30 days to really uh, get those uh, goals happening, making sure that we're reverse engineering the 90-day plan into 30-day chunks, right? A 30-day sprint is the opportunity to really smash out the next 30 days between now and middle of May, um, just to really fast track you and help to get the momentum. The reason why we do this is just like any goal, you know, we've, we've, we've set the 12 month goal, we're doing the 90 day plans, and then now we're doing the 30 day sprints. So you can really focus and have that laser focus for the next 30 days. The benefit of, the, of that is to minimize the distractions, to minimize the shiny balls, um, and minimize the yeah, kick at the meat, kick at the meat, all over the place. What that when what that does for you is then gives you that focus. It gives you the things that you you start to tick off and really start to gain momentum to achieve those goals that you know you guys are set. So this is really important to you. I know that. So let's let's make this happen. So uh, what I want to do is to find out what's been uh, over this last week. What's been a, uh, a major win that you've had? I want to hear from you. What's been a major win for you for this last week? I want you to type away in the comments. What's been a, a major win for you for, for the last week? All right, lovely. So then if you look at if you look at the, the month, what we're gonna do is get a couple of different things. If we look at the the month and we, if we look at what's what's coming up, let's have a look at let's do a bit of a screen share. So this 30 day sprint, once again, is really important for you guys, right? We're gonna go through, we're gonna go through step by step. Um, and, when, and once again, we're gonna keep it laser focused to ensure that you're, you're on the right track. Now, the reason why we do this is once again, is to give you the opportunity to have a look each and every week on how you're traveling with your, with your goals and with your KPIs. So once again, when you go through this process, but before we do, before we do, I want to get you to have, let's just, Let's just get out of this for a sec. I want you to think about what's, if you look at the month ahead, right? If you look at the month ahead, what are some of the things, what are the, what are your key outcomes or key goals that you want to achieve for this month? I want you to think about that. You've got your 90 day plan. You've got your monthly KPIs. What do your monthly KPIs need to look like, right? What do your projects need to look like by the end of this month? All right, so, so two things. What do the KPIs need to look like by the end of this month? <coughs> Excuse me. And what do your projects need to look like by the end of this month? I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes now and I just want you to type away, what, what do they look like? What do they look like? What do your KPIs look like? by the end of this month? And what do your projects look like by the end of this month? Let's go. Want to hear from it? What are they? What are they? Because by doing this, what we do is we get really crystal clear of what we're actually aiming for. And then just like a vision board, just like a goals, we're just hounding down for the next 30 days. And then we, we reverse that, engineer that every single week to ensure that you're moving forward, to ensure that you, you're on the right track. This is so important for goal achievement because if you look at the end of the day, goal achievement is positive compounding activity done over time, right? Simple. But we get distracted. You know, oh, this comes up, this comes up, this comes up, blah, 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 whatever it is, yeah? And so by doing this, gives you that, that focus, maintains that focus. So... KPIs by the end of this month, and what do the projects need to look like by the end of this month? Great, perfect, good. So now we've got that, where is that gonna live? Where is that going to, 
to be? Where is it going to be focused? Is you going to put it on the fridge? Are you going to put it in the in the bathroom? Are you going to put it in the office? Is it going to be on your on a screensaver? Where are you going to keep this on a day to day basis to ensure that you maintain that focus? All right. So now we've got really clear what the end of the month looks like. We're going to look at okay now what does this week look like? So we're going to go back to the wheel and we're going to go look at. Uh, we're going to look at the wheel and look at, okay, great. We've had a week since the intensive, right? A week since the intensive. So what have you done over the week? What have you done over the week? So let's review now of how are you tracking with your goals? How are you tracking with your KPIs? How are you tracking with your progress? So let's have a quick review of the last week. How's it been? So each different spoke, what I'll get you to do is we usually do we go through and we go, okay, this is KPI one. KPI one. This is uh, up here is KPI two. This is KPI three. And this is project one and so forth and so forth, right? So as you go through, I want you to rate how it's been over the last week. <coughs> Excuse me. How has it been for you over the last week? Do that for me now. And when you've done, let me know. All right, beautiful, good. Now that we've done that, so now we go to, um, cool, now we go to the next one and what's the weekly focus for this coming week, right? So once again, we're gonna write down your positive, Positive category, you score from last week, but what we're focusing on, what's the outcome for this week and why, all right? Let's go through that. What's the outcome and what's the why for this week? What's the outcome and what's the why for this week? All right, beautiful, good. So now that we've done the outcome and we've done the why for this week, there's two things I want to speak about today. Now you really focus on what we need to do and uh, and the reasons why that is important. So there's two things I would like to focus today. Firstly is reviewing your ideal week, yeah? how What have you done over this last week to review it? Are you on track? Now the ideal week, the reason why we do this is because you've got these goals that you want to achieve for the following week and the goals that you want to achieve for the following month. But where in your week are you managing time? Remember there's 555 different characteristics within us, right? That's a lot. So it's looking at how do we best harness our emotions because where our emotion goes, our energy flows. So if we're in the right emotional state to achieve that specific task or that specific uh, outcome, then we're going to get it done more quickly and more productively productively, blah, 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 right? So it's really important to, to get to know what state or what emotion you need to be in. So when we look at your ideal week, we look at chunks of time, you know, either an hour or two or three hours at a time. Um, I highly recommend working in what we call 45 minute sprints. So if you've got a three hour chunk of time, do a 45 minute sprint, have a rest for 10. 45 minute sprint, rest for 10. And the reason why we do that is what it does, it helps us to build that momentum because doing three hours chunk at a, time, at a time, you can sometimes tend to wander. So 45 minute sprints is ideal, but it's what's the emotional state that you need to be in. Do you need to be, have that attention to detail? Do you need to be more charismatic? Do you need to be that leader? Do you, what is it within you that you need to be more of? We've all got the 555, but where do you need to be more of? So that's really important. So there's your ideal week.
So once you've done your ideal week, what, what I'm going to get you to do is to actually send it through to me, right? Send it through um, and I want to have a look at it. I want to see, I want to check it out, right? So take a photo and send it through. So that's the first thing that I want to cover. Second thing, good, awesome work, Danny. You've reviewed your ideal week. Love it. Fantastic. Second thing that I want to cover is your meetings. What meetings are you having each and every week with yourself or your business partner or your team to really be productive? Because really, the more we, and it's not about having meetings upon meetings, right? You know, you can have a meeting within 10 minutes, boom, done, over, move, over. But it's always good to review the meetings. Are these meetings working or are they not? Simple. And what is a productive meeting? What is a meeting that really works? A meeting is works when there's engagement. A meeting works when there's outcomes. A meetings work when there's progress, right? Three key things. Because people, if people aren't engaged, then how do they know what they're going to do? If there's no progress, well, pff, what's the point, right? And so what happens is it's really important each and every week to say, okay, cool, are we on the right track? And so some key meetings that I'm going to suggest you to do is to firstly, if, you, if you're a solopreneur and if you're the only business owner, is to have a meeting with yourself each and every week. So there's two key meetings. Firstly is your planning meeting. So this is on a Sunday night or a Monday morning to plan for the rest of the week. And at the end of the week, the re review meeting, right? So the planning meeting is to really set up your week. So what are the key outcomes? This is where the tribal council really helps. What are the key outcomes for this week, right? In the key different areas within the business. And then the review meeting, going through the four debriefing question. So what's worked? What hasn't worked? What are the lessons? And what do we need to be doing differently next week, right? So they're the four debriefing questions. And that's what we need to be doing every single week. Then if you've got teams or if you've got a business partner, once again, going through that with them is really, really important. The teams, you know, I would suggest having a daily daily hull or a daily scrum meeting or a daily whip, you know, the, and the, the key areas, two minutes per person. State what, what they've achieved over the last week. Really acknowledge some of the successes, sorry, what they've achieved the day before. What are they working on that day? Right, and then what resources or assistance do they need to help them accomplish what they need to do? What that does, it has full team engagement. It, it w works on a collaborative approach, but also it gets that momentum going of, okay, great, let's have an acknowledgement for what they've achieved prior, but also get them really accountable of what they're focusing on today, so they're laser focused, and two, see how we can help them with the assistance, right? So that's what I'm gonna suggest for you today. So two things that we just covered is, firstly, is your ideal week, Awesome, send it through to me. Uh, take a photo, send it through. Secondly is your meetings. I want to have a look at what are meetings and how you structured them. Um, uh, review your meetings. If you've got any questions about your meetings, please let me know. All right. So a couple of things, a couple of bits of homework I would love for you to do is your outcome sheets. Take a photo, send, send them through. Ida Week, take a photo, send them through. And also um, your meetings. Let me know how you're going with your meetings, all right? <coughs> cool. So there's a quick little one, our first 30-day uh, challenge, ready to rock and roll. Um, I'm going to go and probably hit the sack. Shorty's not well. Shorty needs to get some more antibiotics into him. Um, but, yeah, anyway, suck it up, Shorty, and I hopefully will see you all soon. All right, guys, have a wonderful day, and bye for now.